St Ilstead's Church, Oxwich, stands on ground said to be sacred since the 6th century. The church itself has a mixture of early English 12th and later 14th century features and consists of a chancel, nave and western tower. The tower forms the entrance porch. The 14th century bell was recast in 1892 but bears the original inscription Sancta Maria Ora Orbis, Holy Mary, pray for us. In the tower porch are two memorial stones, one to a rector of Oxwich from 1320 to 23, and the second to Hugh, formerly Pitt's rector of St Ilstead's. This was Reverend Hugh Gore, ejected under the Commonwealth in 1650 and at some time Bishop of Lismore and Waterford, Ireland. He was also the founder of Swansea Grammar School, now Bishop Gore. The bowl font is reputedly to have been brought by St Ilstead himself. It is obviously old and hewn out of a block of Sutton stone by a mason's aids, a very ancient bowl. The early 20th century rood, the cross, above the chancel arch, is located exactly where the original rood beam had rested. The chancel ceiling was painted in 1931 by Leslie Young, the scenic artist from Sadler's Wells, and it was paid for by Dame Lillian Bayliss, manager of the Old Vic in London and other companies, which later became the National Theatre and the Royal Ballet. The chancel, said to be the original 6th century cell, is the smallest in Gower. In a decorated recess are the effigies of two beautifully carved figures, a 14th or early 15th century knight in armour with his lady in flowering robes. These are possibly John Penn Rice, 1350-1410, and his wife. The feature has locally been known as the Dulamere's Hole, after the Delamere family, the original owners of Oxwich Castle. The teak altar table was carved by the Reverend J.D. Davis from Westgower in the 1890s. The 1893 stained glass in the 14th century east window shows two Celtic saints, St. David and St. Ilfstead. The southwest wall contains a modern stained glass window showing St. Francis preaching to the birds. Also in the church are 18th century memorials which include a good example of grave humour.